Do not comply. Words to live by from the Daily Mojo. Uh, who is, how many people are dead? How many dead bodies are there in the ocean? You know, pieces or parts. Or how many people have died in the ocean? How many bodies uh, does it contain? To which you said? A boatload. Right? Yeah, I mean, that was just the Titanic alone. I don't think you I asked, asked you this some question. time ago. Yeah, I did. I asked this a long time ago, and it, because it, it's I fascinating answer? when you think all the people. Yeah, you had some really esoteric, almost intelligible answer, and I can't remember what it was. Unintelligible. It, uh, it was, I mean, if you think about the number of people who have lived on this planet and are, you know, now long, no longer with us, that's a bunch of people. Well, yeah, and you're where have we them, Where yeah. have we put them all? Ashes to ashes, just, dust to dust, Brad. I yeah. know, but you, you know, for we we keep burying people, and at Not some every, point we don't we don't bury don't everybody. You, I know, yeah. but we bury a lot of people. And if you know, we've been around for all these you know centuries. Aren't we running out of ground to put people in? No, because it just turns back into dirt, and then the yeah, headstones. Yeah, but get you don't walk and, out to the do the, what where. Oh, Why yeah, dude, headstones? come on. Wait a minute. You know for a fact that, that there have been burial grounds where hundreds of people have been buried that have just disappeared over time. Yeah. And they dig you them up like when up, they're building a new subdivision or something. I mean, mean it's like just... Up in, like up in Canada underneath that school? Whatever. Yeah. I mean... No, that just, it turned out there was no one there? It, you're making, you're making everything you convoluted thought. like you like you enjoy doing. <laughs> <laughs> he does. I'm just he does. stirring... Yeah, I'm just I mean, tossing a question. Yes, you know? we know that. <laughs> where where are all the cemeteries from the you know from the f- first century? Where are I who knows? I don't know. A lot of them aren't there anymore. I've been parts ancient parts of the world where <clears throat> I've breathed in particles of people who've been uh, dead for thousands and thousands of years because they just stuck them in the ground or just put them on top of them. They didn't have you know, actual yeah. cemeteries, organized cemeteries. And even if they did, it's a relatively recent thing to have all those really awesome markers and stuff, you know, that are organized right. into cemeteries. So. And if you go yeah. by new cemeteries today, because who was I talking to? Um, they had bought their burial plots and they had to, there was, oh, it was uh, Beth Enoch's parents. They had to buy these. Uh, when you buy the plot now, you have to pay for the concrete mm-hmm. vault thingy that they lower the, the box down into. And you know why they do that now? You know why they have to have the concrete thingy? Because it costs $785? I don't know. That, that you No, know, that's probably the prime reason. But the secondary reason is when you drive past these old cemeteries, and no, we noticed it up in Chicago when we went to Gwen's funeral, the old ones that didn't have that, all the ground, you know, as the box and the bodies decompose, oh. and they can't mow the grass. Nice. So now if they put the <laughs> I concrete, thought it was to keep the water out. They don't care about the water. They want to be able to mow the grass. And if you get all these big divots in the lawn, you can't mow the grass. Right? Okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. You, 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 <clears> you bury them in Lancaster, you know, uh, there is no grass. So. Right, exactly. And the, the sand just blows in. So watch and listen at dailymojo.com.